What's the deal, McNeil? You've got it on KWIT. K White, 690 on your AM dial, of course. This is old Bob Smith, hoping you enjoyed this morning's Manilow Madness. Brought to you once again by your dear friends at Hellman's. Coming up next, one full hour of commercial mm-hmm. free Yanni. But first, <sighs> Neil with sports. Because sports are important. Hello, B- Barbara. How do you like the pie? Mm-hmm. I used to come here all the time, but uh. Lately, I've uh, been so busy at the photo lab that I've <laughs> forgotten what real food tastes like. My dear departed mother spoiled me with her cooking. Now you remind me of her. I'll bet you love a good quilting bait. Mm-hmm. Really, I'm glad you called. I've been hoping to take you out for some time now, in case you hadn't noticed. 
So nice to be here with someone who isn't complaining about their photos. Why are they so dark? I didn't want slides. These can't be my photos. My kids aren't that fat. Doggone it. Must be my boss at the photo lab. Will you excuse me? Mm hmm. Barbara, uh, you're not going to believe this. I, uh... Didn't pull you away from anything, did we, Joseph? Only the most special guy I've met in ages, and gosh darn it, quit calling me Joseph. Joseph is the name your mother gave you, Joseph. I thought you'd welcome the sound of it. Not when you say it. What are you trying to do, keep me in check or something? Don't you think I know my own history? I know my job, Joseph. You could very easily come to think you've always been Dean Patterson. Look at Fran Davis, formerly Amy Smith. She's so in love with her new life as a butcher, she barely remembers the days when it was her own family she was hanging on meat hooks. Fran was a psycho to begin with. She's got a lot to pay for. There was a time when you didn't have all your fingers on the home row. Don't start getting funny ideas about saying goodbye, Joseph. We made you into a specialist, and we could just as easily make you into a condemned Miles, criminal. Miles, don't you think I'm grateful to you? Don't you think I'd still take government service and photo lab training over death by lethal injection? I'm not sorry I took your deal, it's just I think the price is paid. For crying out loud, a guy can only kill and maim and eavesdrop on so many people in his life. I like this fresh start, you know, the new life you've given me, but I think I deserve to actually live it. I mean, I can't cancel every date with every girl. Every time you feel like messing with people that probably don't even matter in the first place. Miles, I can't get laid. Neither can the guy you murdered. I thought he was the man who killed my mother. You know that, Miles. I have bad dreams every night. And how was I to know he turned out to be the president's half-brother? After you've done this for me, I'll do what I can for you. Fair enough? That's Alfonso Dominguez, former dermatologist to Manuel Noriega. He did some covert stuff for us after Panama went down. We trained him and paid him. And then he used his connections to gather data for us. Then he got cocky, started freelancing to cartel guys and arms dealers. We put the squeeze on him, but he disappeared until yesterday. We identified his voice pattern on a stray frequency we picked up on a spam radio. A spam radio? Shortwave, latest thing. It operates on the same principle as a ham radio, only the signal is 50% leaner. At any rate, we found out that he intends to sell a map to a cartel. 
a map tracing safety routes for drug trafficking in Central America, places the DEA hasn't netted yet. We even found out the when and the where. You want me to break up the sale? No, Joseph. To watch it go down. I want visual ID on the cartel bag man, as well as a nice crisp set of photos we can stick in Dominguez's mailbox once we pin down his digs. Then he can choose between doing 30 long at Quantico or feeding the cartel false intelligence. Muy importante, Joseph. Do not shoot these people under any circumstances. We need their entire operation intact if we ever expect to get inside. This could be a major coup for us, Joseph, so don't screw it up. It could be your ticket out. Hey, any of you guys uh, seen my uh, my my dog?
Now, anybody else want a slice of this? Yeah, he answers to the name of, uh, of Herbert. What the hell? Has Tony Grant come in today? Found where? How many other corpses? Miles? Yes, I just now found that out. I also found out you vaporized everyone present at the exchange. Why didn't you take snapshots of that? Might have made a nice portfolio. Had to be done, Miles. They were going to kill an innocent man. Imagine that. Don't you think coming from you, that's a little ironic? Whatever. You get your negatives when I get your word that you'll let me out. After your little firearms exhibition yesterday, you're lucky I didn't have you cleaned by now, you little maggot. If word got out that one of your own was working for a cartel, Miles, someone might gosh darn well want to spank your pink little bottom, wouldn't you say? Tony should have double-checked your case file before he started moonlighting. It's Joseph. He might be calling from home. Uh, find somebody. Uh, send somebody over there. Get Connie. Send her. Have her tail a little prick before he disappears on us. <sighs> Joseph? You're out. But that map... And those negatives and the money are government property, comprendi? Fine. I'm gonna drop off a black briefcase somewhere in the city today and get in touch afterward. Fair enough? Fair? Fair? You ungrateful! Part of me truly wants to thank you people for everything that you've done for me. And part of me wants to invite you to play Pied Piper with my skin flute. Dearest Barbara, I take pen in hand on this day to bid you my fondest farewell. I must leave this fair city in search of another place, for my past refuses to give way to the present, and tomorrow may never come. Long ago I did something real naughty, something that can never be undone. If I do not break free today from the demons of yesterday, tomorrow becomes but a memory. Yea, though I gladly forsake the poltergeists of days past, I cannot help but wonder what might have been us. You are way keen. It may sound crazy knowing you as little as I do, but please believe me when I tell you that nothing on this earth would make me happier than to sweep you into my arms and sail off into the sunset with you, never to be heard from again. I shall always regret not knowing the touch of your hand, the texture of your lips, your favorite metropolitan newspaper, though to long for these things makes what I now set out to do only that much more difficult. Please forgive me if I continue to hope in my heart of hearts that you may have felt for me even a little of what I feel for you now and forever. Thank you for the brief pleasure of your company and for giving me the fondest of the memories I take with me to the next life. With greatest affection, Dean.
Hello, do you have a kindergarten teacher working there named Barbara Wilkins? Yes, but she had to leave early today because of a family emergency. She may be back a little later this afternoon. May I take a message? Oh, that, uh, that's okay. Um, uh, would it be alright if I stopped by and left something in her mailbox? Miles! Terrific. Send it over here pronto. I'll signal the others. Who do you think? We're bringing in the Martinizers. We have confirmation. Remove the stain. One hour. Think that's funny, balloon man? Well, up, up, and away! Exit. Stage left.
This for me? Barbara? Barbara, you're a specialist? It's Connie, actually. I didn't know about you until that son of a bitch Miles assigned me to you today. But what did you... Why did... Ask me no questions. Let's just say that I'm the child of an est parent and one bad day kept leading to the next. We have to get out of here, Barbara. Uh, Connie, preferably to someplace tropical, a place where a lot of tourists need their film developed right away. But we'd practically have to swim there to keep them from tracking us. Not that I could afford to fly us there in the first place. Uh, I have the briefcase in the car. Is there anything in it you'd like back? find us? They couldn't stop us if they did, Connie. The way I feel today, with you at my side, the wind in our sails, and all the mayonnaise this baby will carry, I'm ready to take on the world. Stupid dog.